Hi, I'm Mike Strauss, owner of Turboprop Engine Training, LLC. This training video demonstrates the steps required to check and adjust the flight idle blade angle on the Dash 12JR Cessna Caravan installation. Perform a ground run at moderate power and repeatedly cycle the power lever between beta and prop governing mode until the oil is up to normal temperature. Then perform the three minute cool down followed by an engine shutdown. On shutdown move the power lever forward to flight idle at 50% RPM to prevent the prop from catching the start locks during engine shutdown. Right away after shutdown while the oil is hot remove the spinner to check and readjust the flight idle blade angle. Remove the beta tube block bolt and insert the beta tube adjusting tool. Position the prop protractor on the top of the prop dome and make sure you are forward of the radius to provide a accurate zero reference location. On this counterclockwise slow turn propeller configuration, the protractor is positioned on the dome so that the V groove is forward uh, and the protractor can be viewed from the right side of the propeller. Then press the zero button on the protractor to zero the indicator. Position the 3 8 inch steel pin onto the right hand horizontal blade at the prop blade measuring station and attach with a rubber band as shown. Move the power lever forward then aft to the flight idle position. Check and adjust the aircraft input linkage as required until the prop pitch control reads 40 degrees. Position the protractor V groove forward onto the steel pin with the indicator viewable from the prop tip on the right hand side of the engine. Next turn on the unfeathered pump to pump the prop out of feather and hold it on until the blade stops moving then record the flat idle blade angle on the protractor. Adjust the beta tube in clockwise if required to decrease the flight idle angle as necessary per the flight manual specifications for the Caravan 12 JR installation with hot oil. After the beta tube has been properly adjusted, reposition the power lever into full reverse and turn the unfeathering pump back on until the start locks click, locking the prop, then turn the unfeathering pump off. Remove the steel pin and rubber band, then reinstall the beta tube bolt and spinner. Inspect the engine inlet, then ground run and leak check the engine and propeller. Check and record the flight idle RPM off the locks as required per the aircraft flight manual. The end. Thank you.